Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 11th of January. I'm James Spann, turning cold in coming days, and by golly, we might see a few snowflakes over North Alabama tomorrow afternoon. How about that? Uh, let's look at some of the SkyCam shots around the Alpha SkyCam network this afternoon. We'll start with the uh, Birmingham SkyCam, where the clouds are hanging tough. Temperatures are only in the low 50s, a little cooler than forecast today. Go over to the Gadsden Sky Cam, pretty much the same deal there. They're socked in with an overcast, but hey, hey, look at that. Got the sun breaking through down at Gulf Shores. That looks good. That's the Sky Cam atop the Phoenix All Suites. Looks awfully inviting out there. We'll check the water vapor satellite imagery, the big upper low that brought hail uh, with the stronger storms this morning. That's pulling away from us now. And we note the next trough is over the plains, and that's going to bring down some cold air in coming days. Here's the visible satellite shot. I uh, got a few breaks in the cloud cover over East Alabama. And you really want to get into sunny weather, you have to go down there below US 84, uh, down toward places like Atmore and Bruton and Dothan and Mobile and uh, Gulf Shores. Again, there's the numbers. Uh, we'd expect that upper 50s today, eh, low 50s, the best we can do with the clouds hanging tough and some dynamic cooling with the upper low. And around the nation, yep, you can see that new surge of cold air coming down the high plains where temperatures early this afternoon are about 10 degrees over parts of North Dakota and Montana. And it'll be pretty cold around here the next few days. But it's going to be a quick-hitting cold shot. You know, th these will not last long. There's the watch warning map around the nation. Uh, winter weather issues for a number of places up north, uh, including a few winter storm watches for places like Milwaukee and uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, the northeast will see a pretty good bit of snow, wind advisories for the plains, and a flood watch for the mountains of uh, North Carolina. In fact, just thought I'd show you the RPM accumulated snow projection for the United States over the next 72 hours, and that's going to be a good snow for uh, places like uh, Milwaukee. Chicago will see some pretty decent snow. Snow down to St. Louis, and yeah, look down there over North Alabama. Got a few little streaks of gray, uh, and that we are going to mention light snow tomorrow afternoon, but accumulation not very likely. And there's the precipitation for the next five days. Valid through Monday morning at 6, heaviest north and east of here. All right, model fans, let's look at the GFS. This is the 12Z run at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. This is the weather about 18,000 feet off the ground. Strong Vortmax coming through the base of the trough, helping to sharpen that thing up. And uh, down below that with a surge of cold air, there's moisture. It's going to be a cloudy day, a windy and cold day. We won't get out of the 40s. And look at the moisture coming in with those low thickness values. Uh-huh. There's the RPM valid at 5 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon. Whatever's out there, based on this model, it should all be snow, light snow. Uh, and you can see the model really suggesting a chance of snow flurries, maybe as far south as Talladega and Anniston and Birmingham. Uh, of course, we'll be above freezing, so we don't expect any accumulation or travel issues. I guess a heavier snow shower might make a dusting up there on Sand or Lookout Mountain in northeast Alabama tomorrow evening, but... Uh, that'll be quite a novelty from the mild weather of late. And then Friday, uh, everything's out of here. Should be a dry day and kind of a cold day. The GFS is showing a high of 42, and I think that's right. Uh, uh, parts of North Alabama could have a hard time getting out of the 30s. And we'll start the day well down in the 20s Friday morning. Saturday starting off the weekend, we're still cold. I think Saturday morning will uh, be somewhere between 18 and 25, depending on your terrain, your elevation. Colder spots hit the upper teens, most spots uh, low 20s. And the high Saturday should be up in the uh, low 50s as we slowly start to warm up. Sunday, mid 50s with a sunny sky. Monday of next week, winds kicking out of the south. We warm up nicely into the uh, mid to upper 50s maybe. And then Tuesday, again, very good model consistency and a disturbance coming through with a chance of showers on Tuesday. No severe weather, nothing very heavy. And then Wednesday, back to the upper levels, you can see there's no real cold air involved with a flow like that. And down below that, the surface boundary on this run has enough southward push to make it down below here. So if this is right, we'll have that chance of showers on Tuesday. We'll be dry and colder Wednesday of next week, but not excessively cold. We've got there six more days. How about January 24th? Nice trough west of the state. And by golly, if that's right, that could be kind of stormy. A pretty deep surface low near Detroit, 1,004 millibars with storms here and cold air behind it but again the cold air just doesn't want to settle in here that's the 27th and it's kind of 
seasonal, or if not seasonal, maybe above average. So uh, that's the idea, again, until we see that NAO flipping negative. Any cold shots around here should be relatively short-lived for the next two or three weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.